Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and I love power. Not that I have a lot of it in my life, in fact, I have a lack thereof. And I'm also not talking about UNLIMITED POWER! That was a Star Wars reference. I'm here today to talk to you about the power of Darth Vu. What? Cables? I'm gonna talk about cables today? Are you sure? Okay. It's up to you. Yes, cables! I really don't like cables. I've never appreciated cables. I mean, I like what they do for us, and that is bring power to our favorite devices. My favorite cable happens to be the lightning cable, if only because it's reversible. The other end of the lightning cable, not so much, because it makes you do this like 27 times before it finally goes into the port. What is that? Black magic? The good news is reversible Type-C USB cables are in your future. The bad news is, your future is still in the future. And while I'm on the subject of USB cables in relation to Apple products, why do they give you a black give? <laughs> why do you buy a black USB... I'm sorry, did I say black? A space gray Apple product, and it comes with a white USB cable. Okay, I'm not here to slag on cables so much as telling you about another cable option which you may not have already been aware of. I'm very happy to say that Nomad sent me a series of their latest cables to show you because they make tools for the modern Nomad. Not to be confused with the modern Gnome ad, which likely ran at the beginning of this video. Cha-ching! Because see, my classic handle is Locker Gnome, and it was an advertising. never mind. Let's begin now with the unboxing of the Nomad key. That's it. That's, that's all the unboxing is, because there is the Nomad key inside the Nomad key box. And there's the Nomad key outside the box. I love this connector. For one, it's not that long. There's nothing that's going to get tangled up. For two, can I say that? For two? Or are we on to three? What if I get to four? Do I say four, four? You can attach one end to your keychain and always have it on you. And unlike me, it's flexible. I'm not planning on attaching this to my keychain. In fact, I plan on using it here in my workshop because I'm always needing to recharge one device or another, well, specifically an iOS device. And this is messy. Blech. Uh, this is so stupid. He's so biased. He only talks about Apple stuff. To all you would-be bozos who only pay attention to one or two videos that I might do on a regular basis, they also make a micro USB version. Ebony and not ivory together in perfect harmony. Do -do 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 -do. This just in. Newsflash. You can like more than one thing in your life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? If you use Apple products, you're probably familiar with this particular power adapter. It works well enough, but what happens when you need power on the go? This doesn't store a charge. That problem, my nomies, can be solved with the Nomad Plus. Beep! 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 Plink! Sound effects not included. But battery life is. You could use the same old power adapter that you like, which is small, and attach it to this brick, which isn't very much of a brick, and it's extremely lightweight and holds a charge of 1800 milliamp hours. And in conjunction with the USB port with a Nomad cable attached to it, or any other USB cable, you have a full-on mobile charging solution. So what happens when, say, you're climbing a mountain and you suddenly need to recharge your device? Climbing back down is probably not practical. Not that for most of us, climbing would be practical practical in the first place. Enter the dragon! No, no, no. The Nomad Clip. For those of you wondering what a child might look like should a USB cable and carabiner mate. Simply pop out both ends and you're good to go. This might be something I'd use around the workshop as well, if only because I just don't like clutter. Am I the only person who doesn't like clutter? Okay, imagine this. You're in a coffee shop, you need to recharge your device, and you pull out this cable. Suddenly, the person of your dreams walks by, they look down and go, Ugh. Well, would they do the same thing if they saw this? Probably not. That's a bit of a stretch, I realize. I don't think any couple in the history of humanity have ever met due to a cable. I'm just saying that option A is a hell of a lot more sleek and sexy than option B. That's right. I just called an Apple product unsexy. <laughs> Apple fanboy! What? No matter who you are or where you're from or what you care to use on a regular basis, chances are you're going to need cables. I happen to like these and you might like them as well. I'll be sure to put a link for you in this video's description to tell you where you can find them for yourself. Uh, apparently Tim Cook watches my live videos. He said that I'm no longer invited to any other Apple events that I've never really been invited to in the first place and having had bought all of my Apple devices in the past, I'll have to continue to buy all my Apple devices in the future. Have you come across an awesome technology accessory I might want to take a look at? Let me know. But at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices.